Okay, guys, we're back. This is Jeff Sokol with uh, RainForFuel.net. What we're looking at here is the dual series system set up, and uh, you know, you see how it's set up in my other videos that'll be coming here pretty soon. But basically, we've got a, a positive going in, into this cell, um, a connecting wire from from this negative to this positive, and this negative is going back to the battery. And uh, here's our bubbler and our torch, and um, here's our amp meter. And basically, we're going to be, uh, I hate to say, playing with fire, but it's essentially what we're doing. I'm going to put the torch right here. This is a ceramic tile. Uh, ceramic has a very high heat gradient, a uh, very high fracture gradient for uh, heat tolerance. So uh, that's what we're going to be working on. And um, this is a bottle that I broke earlier. I just uh, got into the bottle a little bit with the torch and it decided it was going to go ahead and uh, uh, break whenever it cooled down, which is natural for gl glass. So I can't say that I'm actually surprised. But um, go ahead and set this up right here and try to get it to where we have a, a good shot of everything that's taking place. Um, I think this right here might do it. Okay guys, hang on to that, stay tuned. Pull my chair up over here. And turn on the bubbler, turn on the system. We are drawing 29.5 amps. With this set up, you can see right here that uh, it's producing quite well. I think that there's still a leak in, in this thing, but it's producing good for what we need. The amps seem to be going down a little bit. Uh, the longer that it's on, the amps tend to go down. Um, that is just for uh, precaution, <laughs> just in case, because we are uh, dealing with fire here. So anyway, guys. Go ahead and set up right here. And uh, here's our torch. Let's see. We're getting a pretty decent flow out of this thing. And it's getting better and better. There we go. Glasses on. First thing we're going to be doing is. Uh, is melting this glass. See how it quickly becomes molten. I don't know how well you can see right there, but sorry. That, that gets uh, nice and red in a hurry. And this is just, it, I, guys, I'm getting this flame off of about two liters a minute of production, pulling under 30 amps. Uh, thank, you, thank you to D3 for um, telling me to put it up in a series to where I'm drawing a lot less amperage off of it. Um, let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But th this is a piece of granite that I'm, that I'm working on. Um, we had, actually had some granite left over from doing the floors. Let's see, I'm popping. It's my flashback arrestor in action. That gets hot really quick. See, my flame seems to be going down a little bit. I think a lot of that has to do with the the water. Ordinarily, this would be getting pretty hot. It's 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 fairly lukewarm, you know. And I've I've been using it actually. You can see right here. 
we're still still producing quite a bit. Let's see, guys. I'm gonna get this piece of metal over here. See what, what we can do with. Uh, just bear with me, guys. I know you all can't see what's going on. All right. See how long it takes us to heat this up. And that's pretty instant. That's this is a stainless steel. Um, it's a very thin stainless steel I picked up over at Ace Hardware. Uh, you can buy it by the sheet. And it's it, it gets red hot almost instantly. I'm, as you can see, my production is going down. My wires are probably heating up. They are. Yeah, see our flames getting a little smaller there. The torch is starting to heat up a little bit toward the end. Let's see here. It's my favorite toy. Yeah, so usually it it'll, it should take less than less than a second at this distance to uh or just a second. You know, it usually I, I put this right here and it pops right through. But um, our flame is getting smaller and smaller. We're gonna go ahead and shut this down and uh. Let whatever needs to be recharged, recharge. I think my battery's probably getting low. So. If anybody knows a way that I can um, get a power source instead of using a DC battery, uh, something that'll convert, um, I'd appreciate it if they let me know. He's charging these batteries. Uh, off and on like this probably is not really good for them. Uh, I see people use uh, computer components that um, with a fan and all that stuff they can uh, convert to DC. Uh, let me know if there's something that you know something simple I can do. But um, right now we're just uh, charging 12 volt batteries, man. And that's uh, that's all we're doing. So anyhow, guys. If there's uh, anything that I'm doing wrong or any comments, questions, whatever, feel free to let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care.